Hi Facebook, my name is Marquette and I am going to be documenting our new journey. We are going to be getting custody. We're fostering three grandchildren. Um, this is going to completely turn our lives upside down. We are already a little bit older. Uh, both my husband and I are in our 50s. So to start over with three babies is going to be life changing, not only for us, but for the children. Uh, the children are currently in foster care, two different homes, and they're babies. So we want to give them an opportunity to have a shot at life, you know, to have a blessed life. And um, things are not easy. Things are, as I mentioned, our whole world is being turned upside down. But I want to share with you, in case there's other people that are going through the same things, you know, uh, navigating through the foster system isn't easy. Um, my husband and I had to go through background checks and um, home checks and basically um, screenings. And we had to do foster parenting classes online and we had to take CPR classes and first aid classes. And um, it's just been a process. Um, the kids have been in foster care for quite some time now. Uh, we've been going through this process for quite some time now. And so I want to document on, you know, just basically how the system failed us um, as well. Because we've been trying to get the kids out of foster care for more than a year now. And um, with the new baby, little Nikki, he's uh, going on nine months, eight or nine months. I don't even have their dates of birth yet, but... Uh, he's been going on, he's going on nine months old. He's been in the system since the day after he was released to the hospital. He's not in the same foster home that the other two grandchildren are in. So it's been a little difficult navigating everything. Um, the other two, Andy and Laura, they've been in the same foster home since Laura was uh, three months old. And she's going to be two, I believe, in September. So she's been with her foster parents. They've been with the foster parents for, for quite some time. And I'm going to be documenting all of this, the transition. Um, also, my husband and I, we're very heavily involved in church. And we're actually in school to become pastors. You know, we're going to school to, to get licensed, to become pastors. And this is really going to be hard to finish you know, and it's going to be difficult to figure out how to continue to be involved in church and make the transition and how to still continue to serve and continue to, to go to school and all the things that we are involved in. It's going to be difficult now with the three, three babies. And so um, I just want to document this and if, if this can help anyone if it can help anyone, anyone that's going through this, anyone that may be, you know, thinking about fostering or anyone that, you know, they have family members that are in foster care or in the system and they're not, they're wondering whether or not they could do it. I want to, I want to make this and I want to document this to help someone, someone out there who may be, you know, thinking about fostering. Or taking custody of their, their family members because, you know, uh, instead of letting them go into the system. And, you know, as as um, as we go through this process, I'm hoping and praying that um, not only does, does this video or these videos, these chronicles help someone else. But I also am, am praying that, you know, that God helps us through this whole process, you know, that, you know. Our family will grow stronger together and that we'll be able to grow right along with everyone else. Um, and I just pray for a blessed outcome. You know, it's not going to be easy, but I know that God is with us. And um, I'm going to be documenting as much as I can. I'm going to ask my sister to help film. Um, she doesn't know it yet, <laughs> but I'm going to ask her to help film. And I'm going to try to post as many videos of the, the, you know, the kids and, you know, the transition process as I can. And 
I'm just hoping once again that it helps someone um, who may be going through the same thing or maybe uh, someone on the flip side, someone that actually got their kids taken away and has their kids in the system and maybe their kids are getting ready to be adopted out too. You know, I just want to um, just to be an encouragement to someone and it's not going to be easy. And as you can tell, I'm super emotional. I have been super emotional because um this wasn't in the cards this wasn't not in the cards but this wasn't part of my plan or my husband's plan to have something like this happen to us but we cannot allow these babies to just be lost in the system you know you hear so many horror stories about people you know that go into the system they're abused they're neglected you know bad things happen to them and we just could not allow that to happen to our grandchildren so um, even though we're not really prepared to take them we are getting them we've finally come to this precipice where we're gonna begin to uh, get custody of them uh, this week or weekend we should be getting custody finally of baby Nikki little Nikki I'm calling him little Nikki and um, we're basically starting from scratch like our children our, our youngest children are in their 30s so you know we're basically starting all over again and but the blessing is that now we are saved now we have God on our side you know and we're gonna we have a lot of support we have a good support system we have a lot of people praying for us and um you know we don't have anything for these kids like we're starting with zero and you know the the system that is there to pretty much help they haven't really helped us with anything you know like our social work the kids social worker you know she hasn't offered to help with anything she basically you know told us well this is what's going on. Uh, we want to start scheduling visits. And if you want to see the kids, then you need to provide car seats. Um, if you want to, you know, have overnight visits, you need to provide beds and send me pictures of them. And man, we're not talking about just one child. We're talking about three babies, which means three car seats, three beds or cribs or toddler beds. We just have to have three of everything um, you know, our whole world is getting flipped upside down, you know, with regards to work, even our vehicle, you know, I, I feel like our car and now is not even sufficient for our growing family, you know. Um, so we're just basically starting from scratch with everything. And once again, I, I my plan is to document as much of the process as I can. Um I'll be documenting like, you know, uh, the visits with the kids. Um, I'll be documenting, you know, the visits, uh, even the transition portion or the transition part with the foster parents. Um, you know, the foster parents absolutely love these kids and they love them as well because that's all they've really known. But um, I will be documenting as much of this whole process as possible. And I just want to ask you to just share, share, subscribe to my channel and just share this video and hopes that it will help someone. And I know that in the end that this, this, this situation that God is going to turn it all around for good and God is going to turn all of this into a message and, and a blessed life for not only for the kids but for us and that we're going to grow through it so I just want to thank you in advance for you know um, for sharing this and um, I will post videos uh, soon uh, just go to my name Marquette Corona or and share it I'm going to figure out how to upload this and how to share it to Facebook. I'm not really tech savvy. I don't have any fancy equipment. I don't have any fancy cameras or microphones or anything. I'm just going to document, you know, uncut, uncensored, you know, unedited videos of of this, this whole transition process. So um, maybe one day we'll get more professional or maybe one day there will be a book coming out of it like my husband said um but i i just hope that it blesses someone thank you god bless